Hello everybody, welcome back to the Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Last time, we did a lot of stuff. Oh no, what we did was we progressed a lot more in the Shadow Temple, and now we're gonna... Oh, oh no. Really? Yeah. I thought it awoken with time, no? I guess it just awakens with uh, Zelda's lullaby. So, ghost, the ghost ship, I actually really like. So what it is, is basically a battle against time. You'll see an enemy drop down. We are very familiar with this enemy here. You have to defeat him by the time this the ship reaches his destination. Oh and his brethren. And jump off. Okay. So we cannot do anything right now about that. Yeah, no, because we need a key. So we're gonna go in this door. So you can see we're a bit, little bit screwed here uh, because the walls are caving in. If only we had a spell and only if we had some magic to cast some fire. Yeah. See, so yeah, I just burn that down. Wait, you need to come in here anyway. You got blue rupee. Cause you know blue rupee is what I what I love in this world. You got the boss key! Now you can get inside the chamber where the boss lurks. Kill! Still doesn't help that we need a uh, normal key. That's alright. Now this I like to refer, refer to as Goron City 2.0. Why I say that is there's bomb flowers and we have spinning jars. That nah, didn't even go on one of them. What? Please stop sucking. At me, please stop sucking. No, why? This... This is gonna 
turn to a montage of me failing to throw a very simple item. Cool, we got one of them. That one gives arrows. Cool. Alright, got the one that drops magic. Oh! Oh! Another gold sculpture one. Hey, I will take it. So, if I do sound tired, it's because it is like 2.30 in the morning. And I should not be recording at 2 30 no more, but here's the thing, it's part of the same recording session for the Shadow Temple. So we are getting this place done in this episode. Maybe, hopefully. I want to. The boss shouldn't be too bad. So we had to kill a floor master. I like it. The easy way to kill the baby floor masters is using dense fire. Cool, we have a small key and we have the big key. That's all we need. I really hope that I can find the fairy to, uh, you know, restore my health, but if I don't, that's cool. You go, go back out this door. Okay, so shoot those bombs at the bottom of the statue, and the statue is going to fall over, effectively creating a bridge to the other side. Jaote is very, 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 very helpful in doing a small thing that we call progression. How you can help out progression is by falling into the abyss. Like I did. 
Well, I, I embraced that I was going to fail there. Why? Because I need hover boots. We should still be fine on effectively two health bars. With, uh, what you call it? With the boss. I don't see him being too big of a threat. Alright, I am going to move a Lens of Truth down there and a Hookshot here. Alright, well, any chance of me potentially getting fairies or health or anything in that room before was ruined because I automatically went into the hover boots, slipped and slide, and fell into the boss hole. And, uh, here is Bongo Bongo. The boss of this area. Hint, he's humongous. Phantom Shadow Beast, Bongo Bongo. He grabbed me. Alright. First fairy's coming to use. Quickly, move in! Why? Why? 
This is only slightly stressful. Off there, I know it's I know it's an early end, but I'm gonna need time to like recover all all my stuff, and at least we know how to go about Bongo Bongo now. If you guys liked watching that epic failure, please like and subscribe. If you guys don't like it, please like and subscribe to boost my moral moral morality. There you go. Also, it's like almost three in the morning when I'm trying to fight Bongo Bongo. Bad idea. Yeah, it is a great idea. So maybe in the morning I'll try to beat him. Alright. Thank you everybody for watching. Have a good day.